Hi! In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Webpack 4. So, Webpack is a module bundler, and in the version 4, it allows you to create a bundle with zero configuration. It means that all what you need to do is to just install Webpack into your project directory and launch it. So, let's do this. The first thing I need to do is to create project directory. And I will do this on the desktop. So, CD desktop. And here I am Kadir, my webpack. So, it is the name of the new folder and it is the name of my project. Then, CD to this folder. And first thing I need to do in the new project is creation of the package.json file. I can create it using npm init command. So, just npm init. So, answer following prompts. So, package name my dash webpack, enter, version is 100. So, just enter for all prompts. And that's it. Is this okay? Yes. So, now I will see that package.json file was created. So, let's open this project in the editor code dot. This command will open this project in the Visual Studio code. So, just code and dot. So, here is my project and now it contains only package.json file. So, it is JSON format, so key value pair separated by commas and each key is embedded into the quotes. Now, let's create index.html file. So, plus here and name of the file index.html. I will create it in the root of my project. So, let's expand it. So, let's add HTML structure. HTML, then head, then body, like this. So let's save this file and next let's create index.javascript file. Let's create new folder src and in this folder I'll create index.js file. So index.js file. In this file I'll just add console log statement. Console log hello world like this. And let's save this file. So, in order to use this file, in order to execute it, I'll need to add a reference to this file in the index.html file. So, let's do this in the body. So, just script. And here, script src equal and location of the index.js. It is located in the src folder slash index.js. Let's save this file. Let's go back to the terminal and just open index.html. So, this command will open index.html in the default application for HTML files. In my case, it is Google Chrome application. Of course, this file was opened using file protocol instead of HTTP protocol, but it is ok for this project. So, let's open developer tools now, right button click and inspect. And here in the console, you will see hello world. And you see that this output was produced by index.js file. You can click on this file and here you will see contents of this file. So, console log hello world. Ok, let's go back to the console and let's go back to Visual Studio. So, now we have just one index.js file. Let's add one more file here. So, let's create this file in the src folder. So, just plus and let's name this file greeting, greeting.js. So, this file will contain a function that will greet a person. So, this function will take one argument and return string that will contain name of the person and hello. So, let's do this. So, I will create this function using ES6 arrow function expression. So, just const greet, it is the name of the function, equal to arrow function expression that will take one argument, it is name, then fat arrow and contents of the function. So, this function will simply take name and return a string. So, return. I'll use template literals here and just hello and dollar sign curly braces and inside of curly braces just name. So, this is a reference to the name variable in this template literal string. And that's all. So, let's save this file 
you see that it is automatically formatted because I'm using prettier extension. So let's try to use this grid function in the index.js file. So simply go to index.js file and try to use grid function and pass one argument to this function that will be name of the person. So just Bob, like this. Let's save this file and go back to Google Chrome. Refresh page and you see here uncode reference error. Grid is not defined. It means that we try to use grid function in the index.js file, here it is, but grid is not defined here. What we can do here? We can try to insert reference to the greeting.js file in the index.html file, like we did with index.js. Let's do this. Let's copy this script and paste here above index.js and let's change name to greeting. Greeting.js. Let's save this file and go back to Google Chrome. Refresh page now. And now let's go back to the console. We don't see any errors, but we don't see any output. That's because grid function returns string and in index.js we just call this function. So let's print result of the grid function to the console. Like this. Console log and result of the grid function. Let's save this, go back to Google Chrome and now you will see hello Bob. Of course, we can call this function here now. So let's call, for example, greet Alice. And you will get result hello Alice. It means that now Google Chrome knows about this function. Let's go back to the Visual Studio code. So now we have two different files, greeting.js and index.js. And both files are imported to the index.html file. If we simply change order of those files, let's copy this string and paste here. Let's save it and go back to Google Chrome. Then you will see grid is not defined. This happens because those files index.js and greeting.js are loaded now in this order. First index.js and then greeting.js. It means that index.js is loaded and immediately executed. In index.js we have reference to the grid function. And at the moment of the execution of this index.js file, this grid function is absent. So now I simply use two JavaScript files and add them to the HTML file using script tag. Let's change this behavior and let's use modules. We can use either CommonJS or AMD or ES6 modules. Let's use ES6 modules. So ES6 modules use import and export keywords. In the greeting.js I will add default export. So like this, export default, greet. So I will export this greet function. Let's save this file. In the index.js I will import this greet function. So import, import, greet from dot slash greeting. So dot slash is a reference to the same directory where this index.js file is located and greeting is name of the JavaScript file. You can omit .js here. Okay, let's save this file and one more edit. In the index.html we can delete this script tag because we don't need greeting.js anymore because index.js will import it. Let's save index.html and let's verify result in the Google Chrome. Refresh file here and in the console you will see uncode syntax error, unexpected identifier. This error appears on the first line of the index.js file. It tells us that import keyword is not recognized by Google Chrome. This happens because browsers don't support ES6 modules. That's why we need to use Webpack to combine those files together in one bundle. Let's add Webpack to our project. In the terminal, just add Webpack using npm. So npm install dash dash save dev. This option will save Webpack as a development dependency. And simply Webpack. Enter. 
So installation will take some time because many dependencies will be loaded. And finally, Webpack is installed. It is installed in the My Webpack project directory and version is 4.10.2. Here you see a huge amount of other packages that Webpack depends on. Let's go back to the project. And in the project, you will see in the package.json that new dev dependency was added and it is Webpack. Let's try to use it and instead of test script here, let's add build script. So build and colon just webpack. And let's save this package.json file. So you can run this script using npm run build command. Let's go back to the terminal and run npm run build. So npm run build. So here you will see a warning that CLI for webpack must be installed and you can install either webpack CLI or webpack command. I'll install webpack CLI because it is full featured CLI for webpack. So type here webpack dash CLI, enter. Webpack CLI was installed and webpack command was automatically executed. And here is the result of operation. So version of the webpack 4.10.2, time needed to create a bundle is this one. So half second, build at date and time. And here you see result. So main.js is the name of the bundle that includes index.js and greeting.js. Here you see size of the index.js, it is 88 bytes, and size of the greeting.js, it is 76 bytes. And size of the bundle main.js is 1020 bytes. Of course, it is larger than sum of files index.js and greeting.js because Webpack adds additional information to the bundle. For example, information about modules caching. And here you see a warning. Mode option hasn't been set and Webpack will fall back to production. It means that there is mode option in the Webpack version 4 and you can set it either to production or development. If this mode option is absent, then Webpack will produce a result for production. Ok, let's go back to the project and see what happened. You see that Webpack has created dist folder and main.js was placed into this folder. And this happens automatically. Without any configuration, Webpack 4 looks for index.js in the src folder and creates bundle in the dist folder. And name of the bundle is main.js. So it is behavior out of the box for Webpack 4. So now bundle was created and we need to add reference to it in the index.html file. Let's do this. In the index.html, replace src index.js with dist slash main.js. So it is a bundle that includes both greeting and index files. Let's save index.html and go back to Google Chrome. In the Google Chrome, let's refresh page and now you will not get any errors and you will see result. Hello Bob. So hello world and hello Bob are produced by main.js file. You can click on it and here you see this bundle that was created by Webpack. Ok, let's examine what happened. But in order to do this, let's execute Webpack once again, but in development mode. We can add mode as an option here in the package.json file. So simply in this row, add dash dash mode, space development. And let's save this file. In the terminal, let's relaunch Webpack. npm run build, enter. Now we don't see any warnings, but size of the bundle has increased. It is 4,5 kilobytes in comparison to just 1 kilobyte in previous case. Let's go back to the project and see what happened. So now main.js is like this. So it is structured with many different comments. And here at the bottom you will see our two files. So greeting.js is here and index.js 
is here. So both files are included in one file. Let's go back to Google Chrome again and refresh page. So now you see that main.js is like this. If I go back to the console, you will see that hello world and hello bob were produced by index.js, not main.js. You can click on index.js and here you will see contents of the index.js file. But now it is not file, it is webpack module. And here you can observe this. So greeting webpack imported module 0 is just a result of the function call webpack require and we call it using name of the file. Here it is. As a result of this operation, greeting webpack imported module 0 object is created and this object has properties or methods. And here on the line 6 we call default method of this object. And this method is default export of the file. Remember that. And we call this method using argument bob. Ok, let's go back to the project and summarize. In this project we used Webpack 4 to create a bundle. Webpack 4 doesn't require any configuration file to do this. But of course it is true for simple projects like this. By default Webpack 4 will look for index.js file in the src folder and create result in the dist folder and this bundle will be called main.js. You can use mode flag to produce bundle either in production mode or development mode. And finally, you need to add this bundle to the HTML file. Ok, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you disliked it, thumbs down. Subscribe to this channel and hope to see you again. Bye.